Good morning. Hi, our viewers. We are delighted to have you this day. It's a good morning. Yesterday is gone. Today is another day that yesterday's challenges are gone. This is another new morning that the Lord has made for you. So wake up, be joyful, be grateful to God because now you can, you, you've seen another morning. Now uh, I have been your preacher, Pastor Mother Boche from Kariobagi South Victoria's Faith Chapel. And I've been dealing with the topic staying undercover. Last time I talked about Abner, son of Nel. Today I want to deal with another character in the Bible who walked out of the cover and the consequences of walking out of the cover. And I'm going to read in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 11 and verse 12. What does the Bible say? Then David said to Uriah, wait here today also and tomorrow I will let you depart. So Uriah had remained in Jerusalem that day and next morning. Praise the name of the Father. As I talk about this topic of, of, of remaining undercover, I want to deal with uh, uh, three characters here, who is Uriah, who is Bathsheba, and also uh, King David. The Bible says, this is a time that uh, all everyone was supposed to be in the battlefield. They were supposed to go for war in order to liberate their country, in order to come back with the things that were taken as captive. But this time around, as other people were outside, David was left in the uh, in the city of Jerusalem. He remained behind. As he remained behind, while others were in the battlefield, there are things that, uh, that, that, that brings a lot of danger, and there are things that put you in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a very difficult situation. While others are in the battlefield, and you hide yourself behind, there is a consequence, and that is what happened to King David. When he remained in Jerusalem, while other men were in the battlefield. The Bible says he walked out of his bed and as he was walking around the Louvre, he saw the woman bathing and his desire his eyes saw that woman in another eye and he desired the woman and he said whose woman is that and he was told it is the Uliah's wife who is Bathsheba and he said I need the wife now this time around remember everybody is in the battlefield but David has remained behind that is when he saw the woman where do you go when others are walking? When, when others are in the battlefield, when you remain behind, it might be your downfall. Be with the people. When they are fasting, fast with them. When they are fellowshipping, be with them. There is danger for them that separate themselves and feel that I can be on my own. You cannot stay alone. You cannot be alone forever. You need to wake up and cheer up and work with others. The Bible says, now David ordered for, uh, for Belsheba to be brought in. And now he asked, whose wife is that? And he was, he was told that it is, was Uliah's wife. And remember, Uliah was a mighty warrior. And he used to fight the battle. But this time around, the game changed. And he said, let Uliah come. He said the same job. Go and call Uliah for me. When Uliah came, he came because the master has called him. And the Bible says then he came and started questioning him. He questioned him and he asked, how is the battle going? How is Joab doing in the field? Not every question you are asked does, uh, does not every question you are asked need an answer. You need to have a revelation. Why now? What you need this time around is a revelation. Because for you to be undercover, you must have another ear, another I that see beyond what you can see not every voice that belongs to the father not every not every person the devil can use anybody the devil can use everybody in including your master. This time around, uh, Uliah's master is David and he's being used. The Bible says when he came, he asked how is Joab doing in the battle? You don't need to answer some of the question. You need to have a revelation. There is something danger. There is something happening. When you have a revelation, you will know how to deal with the matters including in your 
the kingdom, including where you are serving. They continue asking him questions. How is the people doing? How did the, uh, how did the war prosper? No, he said, uh, he asked the question, but the fact remained. David was not after to know how is the war. David was not after to know how is Job. He was after to see Uliah and to know what he will do in order to get her wife. The Bible says when he came, he was asked all those questions. Then the king said, go back to your house, wash your feet and, uh, and gift followed him back. But this time around, I thank God because Uliah had another eye. He remembered that every man in Israel, they are supposed to be in the tent. He remembered he is not supposed to be in the house with the wife. He remembered I am supposed to go to the field. I am supposed to be with other people. Why should I go back? Even if it is my master who have told me to go back, I will not go because he was he was there and he had heard. He mastered the time. He did his, his timing well and he said when the king said go back to your house, he knew he is being trapped and he decided I will not go home to eat and drink with my wife or to lay down with my wife because I know this is the time for battle. It is good my viewer to know your timing. It is good my viewer to know the time what you are supposed to do where you are supposed to be at what time and what are you supposed to do at that expected time. The Bible says when Uriah was told to go he walked out of the Paris but he did not go home. Hallelujah. A man with a revelation. He said, I cannot go home. I will sleep at the door of the palace. My friend, this is a nice revelation. When you are told to go celebrate with your wife, celebrate, go eat and drink, you should know the timing. You should know where you are supposed to be. Even if whoever is telling you it is a trap, my friend, you are supposed to go down in prayer. You are supposed to have a revelation in everything thing that you're doing. The Bible says that this man called Uliah did not go home. He said I will sleep at the gate of Paris. And why the gate of Paris? Because he knew allowed the gate of Paris there is, uh, he is safe. The security is tight. Everything is okay. My friend, you need a revelation for you to deal with this topic. For you to deal with the cover. You need a revelation. Not everything you are told uh, you're supposed to do something you need a revelation you don't need to confront the, 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 uh, the cover you don't need to confront your master but you need a revelation let, uh, uh, let, let your actions speak louder the bible says uh, he went outside and he slept there and he was not alone remember he's just around the Paris he slept there and, uh, and early in the morning the king came out. He was with the servant of the master. They slept outside there. And also remember, he's a mighty warrior. So by the time he did not go home, the warrior, other warriors, the guards were there with him and also the servant of our master was there with him. Now, very early in the morning, the king, uh, the king David walked out of his palace and he met uh, Uliah there and he asked a question, why didn't you go to your house. Why didn't you go to your house? My friend, the revelation, a man of revelation spoke and he said, all oh, acts, every ark of Israelite is outside. Every Israelite man is also outside. Judah are dreading intent. Why should I go? Oh my Lord of Job and the servant of my Lord are accompanied in an open field. Why should I go home and sleep? Why should I go home and eat food? Why should I go home and enjoy with my wife? I am supposed to be in the battlefield. And the Bible says, then the king 
king said, if you did not go home, then come in. Let us have lunch. Let us stay here the first day, the second day. Uliali arrived. David, you own my cover. I cannot go away. Some of us, the reason why we are studying, one day we were told, walk out of the cover of the Lord. You are not supposed to be a preacher, but I remained there. For I knew for me to survive in this land of Kenya, I have to, to have the cover of our Lord Jesus. Even if, uh, no matter how, what I go through, no matter the challenges, no matter the battle, do not allow anybody to remove you out of the cover. That is the cover of our Lord. As we led there before, that the, them that dress in, in Psalms 91 verse 1, in, for them who dwells in the sacred place of our Lord, they will be safe forever. I realized the devil was not fighting me. He was fighting my calling. And everybody could speak ill of after Pastor Martha. And I said no matter the battle, I will still remain at the cover. Because I know people may remove their cover, but them dress in the sacred place of our Lord. They shall remain strong. Whenever people remove you out of the cover, whenever they remove you out of the, their cover, maybe at the place of work, maybe in the denomination you are, maybe wherever you are, when they remove their cover, just remain your cover, let your cover remain, the cover of our Lord Jesus Christ, don't die because they have rejected you, don't die because they have thrown you out remember the cover that you are supposed to have, it is the cover of the Holy Spirit, the cover of the suffering Lord, the cover of the high most to God. You need that cover. Now this time around, this man had a revelation. I will not go home. For men are not supposed to be home at this time of the hour. They are supposed to be in their tent waiting for their enemy. He realized if I go home, I might be killed there. I might be enjoying with my wife. Yes, but my life is in danger. You need a revelation for you to be maintain your level. For you to maintain your level in that coverage. You you need revelation. Uliah did not allow himself to go as he was ordered. He had a revelation that I'm supposed to be out. My friend, have a revelation. We are coming back after this break and don't touch that dial. For us to know after that what will happen to the king, what will happen to Uliah now that he, has, he was told by the king, if you do not go home, then come in the very first day and the second day. Because and remember, the King David was looking for Uriah to be killed for him to have his wife. But now this time around, Uriah had a revelation. I will not go back because I might be killed on the way or I might be killed at home. Don't touch that day. We are coming back. But what I pray for you is you have a revelation. There is a number running down the screen. Light to us. Let us know where we, we, you are watching us from. As we enjoy the worship, we are coming back. Amen. What a worship. What a glorious worship. Thank you, worshipers, for such a worship. There is nowhere else you can get such a worship. It's only in CTN. Be tuning in. And in case you are catching us up, we are dealing with the, the topic remaining undercover. And this time around, I am dealing with a man called Uliah who remained in a cover, who, who had another eye, who had a revelation in the cover. The Bible says, I stopped where I was saying, when he was told by the king, go home, wash your feet and sleep, he did not go because he had a revelation. You need a revelation also. Now, this time around, the king invited him. Now, come back. Come back to my house. And this time around, you will Will not sleep at the gate. Come now where I sit at the table of the parties. Let us eat together. My friend, when the deal is very sweet, think about it. Because now King David has laid a level of the deal. He tried the first time. He did not maneuver. But this time around, he's about to hold the man of God, the mighty warrior. The Bible says... 
And when he was told to come in, they sit at the palace and they eat together. And when we look at the uh, uh, them that have done the theology, they normally say that they ate to, together the whole night and they drank together. In fact, King David brought a, a, a beer or a wine to this man of God. If you read verse 13, you will see that they eat together. He made him drunk. Uh -huh. Let me tell you. He made drunk. You know, now he's out of himself. There before, before he was drunk, he could see a vision. He could have a revelation. But now this time around, this man has made sure that Uriah is drunk. He made sure that he's out of his mind. And the Bible says he was, he drank the whole night together. And when the morning came, he's, he wrote a letter. He drafted a letter and he told Uriah, now this time around, take this letter to Joab and make sure that that this letter is in time. Hallelujah. And I pray for you that you will not carry something that will ruin you. You will not carry your judgment in the name of Jesus. The Bible says Uriah took the letter and remember he's out of his mind. If he could be sober, maybe the Lord could have given him the revelation to know the letter you are carrying. What did the letter say? It was saying when Uriah comes, make sure that you put him in front line so that when the battles come, he will be killed the first person. This was what the letter was saying. But now we can see this man of God. Now he's drunk. He don't know what to do. He does not have revelation this time around. He is under cover, out of the cover of the Holy Spirit because he took beer. The Bible says, now he carried he carry the letter. And I can imagine him running away. Him running as fast as he could to take the letter to Joab. I am praying for you this this morning that you will not carry the letter that that is written you dead you you will not carry the letter that will tell you that, that you will not be given a letter which will excommunicate you to the place of work in the name of Jesus you will not carry your dead you will not carry you uh, something that will harm you in the mighty name of Jesus the Bible says then Uriah brought the letter to Joab when Uriah or uh, when Joab read the letter he commanded, uh, he called all the commanders and he said, as we go to the battlefield, now I can imagine how he behaved. He set apart Uliya and he called the other people and he said, when we go to the battlefield, make sure you remain, you remain behind as Uliya's go ahead so that he can be killed being the first person. I am praying for you today that you remain under the cover of the high most God so that whenever people put that deal or when they cook a certain deal they will never cut you uh, out of your mind they will not cut you when you are not aware in the mighty name of Jesus the Bible says now the commander Joab called the soldiers and they said as we go you Uliah and remember he is a he was a mighty warrior and he knew how to fight but this time around he did not know he did not have a revelation the game he has turned around or oh, now there is something cooking in when you're out of your mind when you uh, when you're out of the cover of the Holy Spirit you don't have any revelation you go and you get yourself in that problem but I pray for you this morning that you will be sober you will be uh, you will not be out of your mind go in a sober way even if it is a king who is calling you remember you are man of Vera you are mighty warrior you are not supposed to drink at the field at the battlefield as you're going to the battle you are supposed to remain sober hallelujah the bible says that this man after all that now the soldiers have been prepared when we go in front and these people comes our enemies come make sure that you retreat back and you leave Uriah there for him to be killed my friend I remember there's a deal between King David and Joab and the bible says now the time came for them to get into the battlefield and they started preparing and now when the time came now Uriah was kept in a front line 
and 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 and, you, and I tend to understand whenever there is war, there is somebody to tell the other now come in. The enemies come, but this time around there was a deal. You need a revelation. You need a revelation, my brother, for you to survive in that company. You need a revelation for you to survive in that country. You need a revelation for you to survive in that ministry. You need a revelation. Not everybody tells you to go has a good intention. You need. Need a revelation, my friend. You need to remain under the cover of the high most God so that whenever they cook something, you will be a rat. Your antenna will be okay and you'll be knowing there is something cooking. The Bible says then they went to uh, they went ahead to confront their enemies. And remember this time there is a deal. And the Bible says when they go in front, the soldiers retreated back and Uliah was left alone. Hallelujah. My dear friend friend and he's there and remember he's not sober he is drunk so even when the others are retreating they are not he's not aware and that is how Uriah was killed now when the enemies came all the other soldiers has gone Uriah was left by the time he was looking up uh, uh, at the back there was nobody for him he was just alone and now they started singing now boast the way you used to boast now you are alone and Uriah was killed a very painful death cutted every piece because they were to revenge. My dear friend, what you need is a revelation. For you to sit undercover, you need a revelation. Not every brother who says that I am born again, who is supposed to direct you. Some of them, they have ill information. They have a deal that they have made for you never to continue with your journey. For you to maintain, to be maintained in that level of business, you need a revelation. If Uriah, remember the very first time he escaped death but right now he was given beer there are some of you who are watching me you escaped the first death but this time around your enemy has raised a level of your degree and they have promised you they have come with another level come we eat together not every food. I, 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 I remember there was a time I was telling you, not every invitation you are supposed to go be there by revelation. And when you feel that you are not supposed to be there, may God remove you there. Because not every inv invitation is godly. Not every table that you that is brought food is godly. Some are cooked in, in, in deep seas. Some of the meetings are organized nice in a deep sea so that when you come in that table you will be done you will not be sober your mind will be carried away and that will be the beginning of your downfall and i pray for you today that any information that you hear that will confuse your mind i pray for you that you will be sober in the mighty name of jesus and i declare and i decree all my viewers who are watching me in a meeting that will lead to your downfall i pray that that Lord will remove your legs from there in the name of Jesus and any meeting of one person or a group of people that will lead to your downfall may God remove you from there in the mighty name of Jesus and any call that that is being organized from the hell to be called that will bring your downfall may God remove you there in the mighty name of Jesus if Uriah could have been sober he could not have been killed in the battlefield and I pray that you will not die in your battlefield because this time around he was not sober i want you to sober up when the deal is so sweet think about it again and when you see this time around the deal has changed you are supposed to not to be eating you are supposed to be praying you are supposed to be in the battlefield what are you doing in your comfort zone the people who are giving you some, some of the people who give you the, the chest to cry on they are not good godly. My friend, you need a revelation. The problem with us, we don't have a revelation. We go blindly. We go, we take ourselves there. We go and we feel hey, you are honored. Not every honor that is godly. You are supposed to remain standing. You are supposed to remain being focused. You are supposed to stand. This is David. 
And you can remember there was a time God was saying, I have found a man after my own heart. That is David. And it is the same David who is organizing for the death of Uriah so that he may take the, the wife. My friend, not every brother who sing hallelujah belongs to your vision. Not every sister who sing hallelujah belongs to your vision. You are supposed to have a revelation. My dear friend, there are so many gods that are being worshipped in the world. You cannot say the same God that I'm preaching it is the same God that you live in. You are believing yet still you don't have the, you don't walk according to God's will. You don't uh, fulfill the Ten Commandments. You don't know what uh, who is God. There are so many gods of small g. My friend, don't be fooled. Don't be drunkard. When the deal is so sweet, think about it. If, if Uriah could have been sober, he could not have died. Now see a man of Vera, a mighty a warrior is dead. The same thing that happened to Abner. Should you die like a fool? Have a revelation, my dear. For you to stay undercover, you need a revelation. You need God to reveal everything so that you may know where to go, when to go, and who to go with, and who to reason. For you to be maintained in that coverage, you need to be a man of prayer. Prayer changes things. Prayer reveals things. Prayer is the only thing that makes you to remember, to remain sober, to remain focused, and for you to have a revelation. I am praying for you that every meeting has been organized from the kingdom of the devil and from the camp of your enemy to make sure that you are down. I declare and I declare their mission is over. I cancel their missions in the mighty name of Jesus. You are there to stand my brother and maybe you are there you are not born again and you are saying the same story you're sharing to us it happened to me one day you can come back to your kingdom you can back come back to your cover and the cover is the Lord Jesus repeat after me repeat after me uh, uh, as I pray for you for you to be saved Lord Jesus I come to you I know I am a sinner but I have desired your word come and change my life for I am a sinner. I am born again now. I belong to Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And maybe you are there, you are born again, but you are saying, I didn't know that not everybody who say, Lord, Lord, I'm supposed to follow. I've been following people. They brought me to the hall. Repeat after me and we, we can pray with you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you because so many times we lead ourselves. We have not been praying according to your will. Lord, I pray that you may reveal to us. Give us a revelation of where we are and the world that we are living in so that we may never be trapped in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and we believe. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. I was your preacher, Pastor Mother Boche from Kariobagi South, Victorious Faith Chapel. There is a number that is down the screen. Please write to us. Let us know where you are watching us from. We would like to know your feedback concerning the topic and we are going to make it better for you. Thank you, my viewers. God bless you and shalom, shalom. May God bless you. Amen. Amen.